So for anyone who loves the Killer Instinct arcade game, I'm not talking about the Super Nintendo version, which was terrible in comparison, although a lot of people liked it, and I, I played it to the point where my thumbs were so raw that uh, I had blisters on them. Uh, I even won a competition at La Honde, so I'm, you know, no big deal, but uh, I did play that game a lot on Super Nintendo. The arcade game kicked ass. I think with all the money that I got from delivering the papers, I must have spent about 200 bucks at the arcade. <laughs> I mean, like, unbelievable. I, I love that game so much. So what I want to show you today is that you can download the game and have it play on your computer. Unfortunately, it's a little heavy. It runs a little heavy, so for your processor, if you don't have a, a good processor or graphics card, it might uh, skip a bit, you know? The sound might screw up and the images might lag. But anyway, so what you want to look for on the internet, it's called Meme32. And you want to find a ROM. You see, because with, you know, any video game that you have at home, like with a console and a game on a disc or on a cartridge, you need the machine and you need the game. You put the, the game in the machine, right? So someone, some people have designed uh, games. Oh, I'm sorry, they've designed ROMs. Ah, uh, God. All right, I'm sorry, I'm going to start over again. They've designed emulators. Those emulators emulate the game, uh, the machines like environment like a, like an operating system environment, okay? So the same way you have Windows XP uh, emulated for Windows 7 so you can run 32-bit programs on it, uh, like if you have software for your printer and it's only 32-bit, you can only run 32 bits of uh, information uh, at a time So uh, with a processor. Anyway, so, so this this uh, emulator here, it emulates or it imitates, uh, you know, an operating system like for uh, a video game machine. Now, I downloaded the ROM, which is like a game. You download that at uh, ROM sites for Killer Instinct, and uh, there's a great website called KillerInstinct.net or KillerInstinctOnline.net. And there you can get uh, the arcade versions of Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct 2, and also the Super Nintendo versions of um, uh, Super Nintendo version, but uh, also the uh, Nintendo 64 version of Killer Instinct Gold, which is a really poor version of Killer Instinct 2. Uh, in the past, processors for video game machines just weren't as evolved as what you have now. So. So you see, in some emulators, you ha actually have a list like this, which is practical. Other times, you have to look for um, for your games in your computer, but you, you end up just putting them in, I think there's a ROM folder somewhere. Ah, uh, here we go, ROMs. You just throw your ROMs into all the same folder, like I have Mortal Kombat and all sorts of stuff in here. Um, I bought a controller also, so... I can play the games on my computer. It costs about 20 bucks uh, when it's on special. It's a Logitech uh, made controller for computers. It's got a USB connection on the end. So, all right. So the way this works, like I say, I'm gonna just grab that and double click here. Now, if you can hold on a second, I'll put on the sound. Okay, so I'm not going to, oh, crap, I'm not going to make it fill the screen because unfortunately it distorts the image. So let's say it's roughly about this. All right, so I'll press any button, and this is the way the arcade game used to start.
people used to huddle around. They used to huddle around the video game machine and it was like a huge party every day at the arcade. It's like an event and the music was so loud. It was really exciting stuff. So this way you can download, add a coin, and you choose your character. Got uh, Cinder, Spinal, Fulgore, TJ Combo, Jaco, J Thunder, Iglesias, Orchid, uh, Saber Wolf, whatever. I'll just let it run for a few more seconds. So that way you can play the game. 